Cotto and Trout fight. And um, Trout could box. He could move. Um, I've been reading a lot of stuff on Boxing News 24.com. Dana Bruce is always talking about that Trout is going to be Cotto and this and that. That Trout is taller and he got a 72 inch advantage and stuff like that. But you know what? That was the same advantage that uh, Margarito had. Margarito was 5'11 and 73 inches inch length you know what about um Cotto then Cotto put it on him in his last fight I don't count the first fight because you know he had loaded loaded wraps so but um I think um Cotto will knock out Trout in the seventh round one thing is that whoever you put in front of Cotto Cotto adapts that person you know he fought the one of the greatest fighters up to this day, Floyd Mayweather, and he had ribs that night, put it that way, and um, but, you know, Trout has a, a nice jab, you know, but he's in the B class, he's not in the A class yet, so now you're gonna face somebody that has a, a kind of like, an explosive jab, that's one of the Cotto's best punches too. You know, he could drop people off with a jab, like um, Clotty. He dropped Clotty with a jab. He busted um, Mayweather with a jab on his face. But, you know, Cotto is not only a brawler, he could also box. You know, he could make you miss. And Trout, if you miss and you don't hit Cotto, He's gonna make you pay, and he's gonna be throwing the bait, and you're gonna go for it, and you're gonna get hung on his hook. So, you know, the best of luck of two, these two fighters, cause they they really great fighters, you know. But Trout has a lot to prove, and Trout, the mistake that you did was fighting Cotto instead of having fight somebody else that was a champion and I mean a good champion you know not a a puncher like Cotto is and Dana Brosie if you hear this message you know I don't know what you got against Cotto you know you're always talking crap about Cotto that Cotto can't do this Cotto's too old and stuff like that but you know what it don't, in boxing it doesn't matter if you're old or not because if you they, they hit you with a good punch you're gonna get hooked on it you know and you get you might get knocked out it was proven then Michael Moore was beating um, George Foreman and George Foreman hit him with a one-two and knocked Moore out well this this fight is different you can't never compare that with this but you know what the H it don't matter you know because Cotto is not he's not too old you know look at Mayweather he's 36 years old but third, Mayweather fights with anybody else and people are gonna be like oh Mayweather is the best pound for pound Mayweather is gonna win the this and that you know what if Mayweather could do it he's 36 you know and Cotto Cotto is 32 going on 33 you know so you know the best of luck to you Cotto you know uh, my prediction is Cotto will win by knockout on the, on the seventh round you know because Trout has never been with a puncher like Cotto you know and if if Trout is gonna box and move away and stuff like that then you're gonna bring out the old Cotto what he's gonna do is he's gonna hit the body for you to stop running you know and Cotto is a he's an all around boxer he's not just a slugger but he could also box you know um, I think that Pedro Diaz whatever he's doing with Cotto um, he's going the right path for Cotto you know Trout you know all I saw was two fights and you got hit a lot and if you get hit by by Cotto the way you got hit with Alvarez and Devin Rodriguez, you know, of, of your street, you know, 
but I just hope that that child doesn't really get hurt you know but this is a sport that either it's a decision or somebody's gonna come out hurt you know and I just hope this is good this, this be a good fight and a lot of people commenting that Chad is a softball that's true but you know what that quote always are orthodox yeah it's true but you know what naturally Kodo is southpaw he right what's his hand he he does a lot of work with his left hand so this is gonna be an interesting fight you know and it's gonna be another another belt for for Kodo you know and I just wanna say um, peace out to all the boxing fans all around the world and also um, my condolences to the Camacho family and may your soul rest in peace um, that's one of the true champions and Koro let's bring it back home this New York one holiday greeting is